Today we're taking a look at our Canon EF to Fujifilm X mount Rhinocam Vertex stitching adapter. This is a lens adapter that allows you to capture more of the image circle of a full frame lens on an APS-C crop Fujifilm X mount camera. The adapter rotates the crop sensor around the center or vertex of the adapted Canon EF lens. You take four photos and then you stitch these photos together in post for a square stitched image. This stitching adapter basically allows you to capture more of the image circle of a full frame lens than you would by shooting through the center of it with your APS-C crop camera. And by capturing more of the image circle, you're getting a full frame plus image. Also by creating a four image square stitch, you're getting an image that is reminiscent of a medium format six by six square image. Obviously because we're going from APS-C sensor to full frame lens, we're not capturing the same resolution as you would with a medium format film camera, but it does give you a square image that is reminiscent of a medium format image. Now, how exactly does this work? Well, basically a full frame lens has a large circular image circle. All lenses have an image circle and depending on what type of sensor a lens is made for, the image circle has to be larger than that sensor so you don't get any vignetting. Now, because the image circle of this full frame lens is much larger than the sensor of this APS-C crop Fujifilm camera, by using this adapter to rotate the sensor to different parts of this full frame lens, we're capturing a square image that is higher resolution than just shooting through the center. It's actually a bit easier for me to show you how the RhinoCam Vertex adapter works by showing it mounted on a camera. So let's just remove the lens. Let's pretend the lens is still on. As you can see, the RhinoCam Vertex adapter offsets the sensor of the Fujifilm X camera, APS-C crop sensor. So in this setup, we're gonna take our first shot. Then we're gonna rotate to the second position. So you can see it moves the sensor to a different part of the image circle of the full frame lens. We take our second shot, rotate to the third position. It's offset down here. Take our third shot, rotate to the fourth position, take our fourth shot. And there you go, just like that, we've rotated the APS-C sensor around the full frame lenses image circle. We've taken four images that we then stitch together for a square full frame plus image. Now this adapter is not designed to replace any other types of stitching photography. It's simply a method that allows you to have your lens stable. The lens doesn't move at all. Instead, you're moving the sensor of the camera. So you're getting one image where the lens hasn't moved. Uh, rather, you're using the sensor moving that around kind of like a digital back. Now, if you have any more specific questions about this process or how it works, comment below. I'd love to help you out. Here's how to mount a full frame Canon EF lens on this adapter, pretty simple. Just line up the red mounting dot on the lens with the red mounting dot on the adapter, press the lens into the adapter and rotate it to lock it into place. And then if you wanna remove the lens, you just find this little silver lever here. It looks like a button, it's actually a lever and you're gonna slide it away from the lens and then rotate the lens and remove it. To mount the lens and adapter on the Fujifilm X-Mount camera, it's the same thing. Line up the red mounting dot with the red mounting dot, press the adapter into the camera and rotate it to lock it into place. Now, all of our RhinoCam Vertex adapters have a tripod foot on the bottom. That's because the lens has to remain stationary while you rotate the camera's sensor to the four spots. The lens can't move, so you're actually going to mount the lens to the tripod and lock it down. And uh, as you can see here, it's got an Arca Swiss style foot. So this will work in any Arca Swiss style tripod. It can just slide right in. But if you don't have a tripod like that, you can also use the quarter 20 mounting thread that'll mount on most tripods. Just make sure that the tripod ends right about here. If it goes out any farther, if you try to rotate the camera, the camera will bump into the tripod. So just make sure that you've got this space clear for the rotation so you can rotate to your four spots to capture your four images. One note, this is a fully manual adapter. There are no electronic communication pins. So it's designed to work best with fully manual Canon EF lenses. But if you are using an EF lens like this Nifty 50, which requires electronics to adjust the aperture, you will be limited to the aperture being 
set to its widest setting. So because this is an f1.8 lens, the lens will always be set to f1.8. Uh, so if you want to have more aperture control, you're going to have to use a Canon EF mount lens that has manual aperture control. Uh, these are cine lenses made by third parties, etc. Otherwise, if you are using an EF DSLR lens, a first party Canon EF lens, most likely you will not have manual aperture control. And with a lot of EF lenses, uh, including this one, you will have manual focus. So that's no problem but some of the newer Canon EF lenses are focused by wire only. And in that case, this adapter will not work with those lenses because if you're setting up a landscape shot, a stitch landscape shot, you are gonna need manual focus. So to sum up, this is a manual adapter. You're gonna wanna use manual or semi-manual EF lenses. This adapter does not work with fully electronic Canon EF lenses. Mounting the RhinoCam Vertex is pretty simple. Like I said earlier, it's got this Arca Swiss style tripod foot. So if you have an Arca Swiss style tripod, you're just gonna slide it into the back. Make sure you leave space for clearance so you can rotate the camera to its four spots. There we go, we've got plenty of clearance, so that's no problem. Now here are a couple tips for creating a stitched image. First, you're gonna to wanna to pick a ISO, a shutter speed, and a color balance. You want the four images that you capture to stitch together really well. And the best way to do that is to make sure all your settings are consistent between the four images. So pick a shutter speed, set your color balance to daylight or cloudy or however you need it to be, and then pick an ISO. Don't leave the ISO in auto. Don't leave the color balance in auto because the four stitched images might change slightly uh, in the auto mode between the shots, which could make it harder to stitch the image. Next, you have to compose your four image stitch. And the best way to do this is to kind of adjust the tripod uh, for your field of view in this lens. And to get the full field of view, you're gonna actually have to rotate the camera. So rotate to the four spots, kind of get a feel for that full square image that you're gonna be capturing, and then make any adjustments you need to make so that image is composed the way you want it to be. It's not as simple as just looking through the viewfinder. You do have to rotate to the four spots to see what the full image is going to be uh, when you take those four images and stitch them together in post. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you are in focus, <laughs> and then uh, you're gonna take your four images. And basically how this works is you start in your first position, take your first shot, rotate to the second position, take the second shot, Rotate to the third position, take the third shot. Rotate to the fourth position, take the fourth shot. There you go, you've taken your four images. And now you can take these images into, say, Photoshop, use the photo merge function, stitch these four images together for a square stitched image. Now there are a couple things to watch out for. Don't capture moving crowds or moving traffic because you are capturing four images, the images are gonna to have to match. So if you have people walking in your shot, when you're rotating, they're, they're gonna be shifting around. So the four images might not stitch that well together. For example, here's a shot where I was photographing a road. And as you can see, this car is driving behind a light post and it's disappearing. And that's because the car drove out of shot between the four images. So make sure you choose a subject that's not moving too much. And that includes watching out for wind moving the branches of trees and for large waves in water. Although we found with smaller waves, the stitching software is able to stitch those pretty well and you can get nice stitches even with water scenes. If you are concerned that the movement between the four shots will create an issue in stitching, the other thing you can do is use long exposure photography. This blurs the motion in your shot and it makes for a nicer, easier four image stitch. Okay, that's a quick look at our Canon EF to Fujifilm X-Mount RhinoCam Vertex stitching adapter. Now, if you're interested in using an adapter like this, but you wanna use a different lens, here are the other lenses we support for this system. Now, we don't just make RhinoCam Vertex adapters for Fujifilm X-Mount cameras. We have an entire line of RhinoCam Vertex adapters, and some of our more popular ones actually adapt medium format lenses to full frame cameras. This is kind of our baby miniature version. So if you'd like to learn more about those, click the links in the description below. And if you wanna pick up this specific RhinoCam Vertex stitching adapter, the EF to Fuji X, also click the link below, it's down there as well. If you have a question about this RhinoCam Vertex stitching adapter or stitching adapters in general, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Plus click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one.